All right, guys, I'm back. And um, I just got done talking to my dad, and I planned on taking him on a mule deer hunt next year. And he got to asking me, how much is it going to cost? So today, we're going to talk about how much does it really cost for an out-of-state, specifically mule deer hunt, but you could also incorporate, you know, elk, and white tails or antelope or whatever kind of incorporate it and you know make a few small adjustments and really see how much they would be so i'm going to start off going over what i spent for my colorado mule deer hunt so let's go ahead and get into it now do keep in mind that some of these things you may already have that i didn't and there may be some things that I already have that you didn't if you're going to a different state, tags could be different prices, you know, living different distances away because gas is one of, if not the biggest thing, especially for me. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first off, sleeping bag. Now I had a sleeping bag, but I wanted to buy another one that was a little smaller and more compact. So I bought one and I just kind of took a chance on a cheaper one. Uh, I got an Ascent sleeping bag from Bass Pro. It was $80, so pretty cheap. And it worked great. You know, I read everywhere, you know, buy an expensive sleeping bag and all that. But I bought an $80 one and it worked fantastic. So the next thing is a tent, and that's another potentially big purchase. So I did some research and I actually saw a thread on Facebook about people asking or someone asking uh, for advice on a tent and which one to choose. And I seen somebody comment about this tent on Amazon that was like 80 bucks and he used it in like Alaska. And I was like, well, if this guy used it in Alaska, then I can use it in Colorado for a week. So I bought it and used it and it worked great. And it was an $80 tent. Now I forget the specific name of it but um, it was pretty easy to find. So if you just search uh, backcountry tents and then use some filters, um, I'm sure you can find it pretty easily. Now the next thing, and this one's gonna potentially vary depending on what state you're going to, what species you're hunting, but that is the tag. So I went ahead and just did $600 for the tag in Colorado, application fee and all that. It's actually probably a little less than 600 but that's what I have wrote down here. So again, that'll vary. You know, elk in Colorado, I believe, are 750 or so. And then, you know, if you're hunting antelope in Wyoming, maybe your tag is like, I think those are 350 for antelope in Wyoming. I could be wrong. So yeah. Another one that's gonna vary. Hotel rooms. So we got four hotel rooms. So from where I live to Colorado, it's about an 18 hour drive. So we got one hotel room on the way there. After we got there, we bought a hotel room. And then on our way back, we got two hotel rooms because we came into a bad snowstorm. So we decided to stop for the night uh, pretty early on on our way back. So in total, we spent $800 roughly on hotels. Um, we did get nicer hotel rooms. We didn't get any cheap ones. So, you know, you could get cheaper hotel rooms. Maybe you don't need to get a hotel room. Maybe you live close enough or, you know, sleep in your truck or whatever. So the next thing is food. So food, again, is another one of those things that can vary a lot. You can get ramen and peanut butter and eat that every single day for every meal. Or you could get nothing but dehydrated peak refuel meals. Um, so we got a couple dehydrated meals. I'm gonna say in total, we spent about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars on food, so we had, you know, peanut butter and bread and ramen and some dehydrated meals and all kinds of stuff. Um, most of it being pretty cheap, so, so yeah, about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars on food. The next thing is the backpack, another one that could be super cheap or super expensive. So I actually found my backpack on Amazon and I'm actually gonna do a review on it here because I was so impressed with that bag. But um, there's a backpack I got on Amazon. It was $80 and wow, I can't believe how well that bag performed. 
you know it had a lot of room i was able to pack my mule deer out in it comfortably so it was really awesome i can't wait to do a review on that because i think it's an absolute steal for 80 bucks you know maybe not as good as some of the others that are four or five hundred dollars but for 80 bucks it's a fantastic bag so the next thing that i bought is a bino harness so i didn't have a bino harness i did have binoculars already but i didn't have a harness for them and that was 30 bucks i got a vortex uh bino harness so that's another 30 bucks uh, the next thing is sleeping pads i brought two sleeping pads I brought one to attach to my bag so when we went out hiking and you know we stopped to glass I could set that sleeping pad out and we could me and my sister both could sit on the sleeping pad and be able to glass around and then obviously I got one to sleep on and that totaled about 50 bucks I got one at Bass Pro that was about 30 bucks and then my other one I got on Amazon which I actually liked more which they were pretty similar but it was uh 20 bucks so uh, the next thing is game bags. So I got some, I got my game bags at Bass Pro. I can't remember what brand they are. It's Alaskan something. But anyways, those were about 30 bucks as well. And obviously, you know, you need game bags. So another big purchase I made was I bought a bunch of Kuyu stuff. I didn't have Kuyu gear. You know, I always wore pretty cheap stuff. You know, I live, you know, in the South. So I'm able to get away with some cheaper clothes because it doesn't get super cold here um, especially during deer season like right now this is one of the coldest days we've had and it's 50 degrees right now so um the next thing oh well let me bounce back to the kuyu so i got a um the guide dcs jacket the the kutana pants um I got a Peloton long sleeve shirt and I got a, I got a neck gaiter that was 20 bucks. The guy jacket was 250. The Katana pants were 120, got those on sale. And then the shirt, I got it on sale and it was like 60. So again, that may be something that you may not have to buy. So the biggest thing is gas. So I get terrible gas mileage. We took my truck because I have a lot of space. I have a bed cover on my truck and I get terrible gas mileage. I get about 13 miles a gallon. So we ended up spending about $800 in gas. So a ton of money in gas, a ton of money. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad that we took my truck. You know, we had plenty of space in here, so I guess that was a plus. And then I added on a miscellaneous little tab. And I just threw in 200 bucks for the miscellaneous. So, and that's for things like, you know, maybe things I didn't account for. Like, like now I can think of, you know, like dude wipes. I brought some dude wipes, latex gloves. I bought some, you know, just little things that I may have bought along the way that I can't really recall. But yeah, I have 200 bucks in that. So all of that totals up to $3,400. Now I know for a fact that I probably spent a little less than that. So, and again, these things, some of these things are one-time purchases. So I'm not gonna have to buy a sleeping bag. I'm not gonna have to buy a tent. I'm not gonna have to buy a backpack. I'm not gonna have to buy a bino harness sleeping pads, game bags. I'm not gonna have to buy the Kuyu outfit. So all of this stuff could easily be done for under two grand. Easily done for under two grand. Especially if you already have a bunch of stuff. So, you know, and some things that I did have already, I'm gonna kinda go over. So, uh, obviously a rifle, which that's a pretty big purchase. So I already had that. Um, a spotting scope if you want to bring one of those I didn't have one and I didn't really feel like we really needed one um, but you know and then you know I had other things you know ammo ammo super expensive a box of shells for my 7 millimeter 08 is you know 40 50 bucks so there's a bunch of things that I already had binoculars is a big one all those good things range finder already had so just kind of compare notes 
to what you may already have and what you may not have. And you can probably come up with a rough range, but I'm gonna say next year when I go on a mule deer hunt, next year. And remember, this was all split between me and my sister. So I didn't, you know, like gas and hotels and all that, we split that cost. So next year when I go, I am 100% positive that I can spend less than $2,000. No doubt about it. So I'm pretty excited to go and I hope this video helps you guys out because, you know, going out west, I've always seen it being portrayed as a rich man's game and I'm not rich by any means. I've saved up over time and, you know, been planning this for a while. So don't think you have to be super rich to go and again i probably could have went for much less than this i could have spent way less on hotels i could have you know spent way less on a lot of things so i couldn't have bought my i, I could have gone without my kuyu outfit and you know you don't have to be decked out and stuff like that so i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys you know kind of get an idea of how much it costs now and i hope you know this kind of motivates you guys to go out there and hunt out west because it's an awesome experience especially for me being in the south i've never seen anything like that before so it was super awesome i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe 